How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to be testing the voltage going to the fuel pump in this 1991 Honda CRX SI. And so the first thing that you're going to need to do is remove the back seat and or the luggage cover. And so on these cars, there is this luggage cover thing that looks like this. And uh, mine had a bunch of Phillips screws. They're all the same size and length going across it. I think there's about six of them. Um, but once you take them all out, this thing literally just comes up and out and uh, you do need to open up the top part to get access at that. So this thing just kind of folds down just like that. So it might look like that originally. I don't want to break this because it's really nice. Um, but yeah, so you need to remove that. And then once you remove it, you will see this part right here, which is the connector going to the fuel pump itself. So basically the reason you're going to do any of this is because you want to make sure that your fuel pump is getting the right voltage to see if you have any issues with the actual uh, circuits going on here. Um, and so in this case, if you look at it from the top side, there is a yellow wire with a black stripe on it. And so you want to check the voltage between that and the solid black wire. What I did to do this is I took a paper clip and I just cut it into little pieces and I shoved the paper clip into, on each end, you can, there's a little opening and you can have the metal contact the metal of the paper clip um, inside that. So basically I've got the black ground wire connected to the yellow wire with the black stripe on it. And this is our fuel pump uh, that goes underneath the car. And then I've got my multimeter hooked up and I'm using some alligator clips. I highly recommend them because it makes your life significantly easier if you're ever gonna do this. Um, and then when you do this, uh, first you should hear something, I'm not even gonna look at voltage yet, but when you turn this on and listen carefully, you will have a little kind of whining thing and then stopping. So that's the fuel pump. So, we'll... so that check engine light just came off. So as that fuel pump wine stopped so that means that our fuel pump is turned on and now what we're gonna do is turn the car back off and uh, get that to shut up um, and then we're going to switch our multimeter to the uh, direct current setting and it should shoot up to about 10 volts so basically we're gonna take a key just plop that guy in there watch this guy And so that is how you check the voltage on this thing. Um, I will say if you're getting low voltages, make sure you've got a good contact between the uh, black wire and not just some random grounding cable because initially when I did this, I connected uh, this black lead or alligator clip directly onto like one of these screws because I just considered that to be like a grounding strap. Um, so I just basically did that. And when I do that, I actually end up getting a lower voltage. So turning the car off, as you can see, that only goes up to two volts. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're actually tapping into the correct um, ground on this thing, which is, I came in from the other side just so I don't run the risk of these two wires touching each other, because that would throw off the voltage re reading. Um, but yeah, that's how I recommend doing this thing, is just like that. And then final little test here. That guy goes up to 10 volts. So just make sure you are looking at the correct uh, settings when you're doing this. And uh, I hope this helps. I'm currently troubleshooting this fuel pump in here and I'm probably gonna end up replacing it because it looks like we've got good voltage, but the car is stuttering and sometimes I can't start it. So that's the next step in this process, but for now, at least we know that we've got a good wiring harness that leads up to our fuel pump, and I hope this helps. Thanks all for watching, and be well.